Good afternoon, YouTubers. So, we are looking at a really god awful, ugly mess I've made of the front panel, but I've had to do quite a lot of nastiness in order to get some airflow in there for where the uh, intercooler is going to be. And you can't deny there isn't any airflow there now. So, um,. I'm going to have to push on with that and see how uh, how it turns out. I mean, if it is all hideous beyond belief, which it kind of looks right now, um, I'll just throw it away and start on something else. So, that lot went in there. And then, the pipe work is going to have to go through the uh, inner wings. On that one there. And of course on that one there. Now there is a bloody intercooler on eBay that will fit in there that I can use, but the seller doesn't send to Thailand, which is bloody great. So I'm also using this radiator to mock things up, and I'm not really happy with the clearance on the back of it to get an electric fan on there. So um, the engine's going to have to go back about another inch. Although it's really not too happy with that idea. I'm going to cut that bit out in a minute. I was going to cut it out before I made the video, but I sat down and had a little kip. Because that's what old people do. Um, so there's absolutely no space left down there by the firewall. But that's at least some problems. While I was looking at other things that was going to give me a problem, I noticed that it's right up on the bulkhead there and that is until I did this <laughs> it just slipped straight over the top so uh, I'll see if I can use like a moped inner tube as an inner gasket on that and then clamp that over the top of the inlet manifold that gives me all that space there then and um, I'm going to have to scallop the inside of the wing out to get the air filter down in there I'm not really sure how we're going to do the air filter. I did quite a fancy thing on the Mark II I was doing, but it did get far too complicated for what it was actually going to be. But we'll see. I might do it with that one. Or I might not. Or I might get bored, because I do get bored. Meanwhile, I've also started having a look down here. Ah, oh, I want to touch that side of the camera. It's not going to work if I touch it. Now we're going to get on mounting some compression struts and to be honest the way that it's supposed to go is supposed to be angled up and back to give you your anti-braking anti-braking? to give you your anti-dive when you're braking and the only way I'm going to be able to do that really is to put all the suspension in and see what sort of ride height I can mock up because uh, I'm putting the steering rack on the back here so the steering arms have got to come through there so yeah, that's another little thing to put on the list. And that probably is about all I can report on today. It's just quite a lot of faffing about, trying to position things. So I'll leave you lot with that. And I'll catch up with you all later on.